That nigga tried to sacrifice me. That nigga tried to sacrifice. I hate. I hate speaking on it. And I and I want to say this right now. I want to say this on this video. I I apologize to Drake for for coming for his mom. Coming for his mom. Whoa. Can't just a bitch, I'm just chasing the million Draw air out and that boy made a killing I made it out, wanna want to fulfill it We went from home to stars in the ceiling Got more hot, that bitch big as a building Run the game out, we the best in the building Fall on my coat, down the drill like a pill Young nigga coming straight out the gutter No food, it's just bread and butter With free show, now they paying me double Pocket watching, they don't want me to bubble Love of my brother, can't help but to love him I get a gold and I don't even touch him Once again, Street Choice Media, where the street choose the media that I cover. I've been getting a lot of t calls and people talking, asking my opinion about the situation where Drake put a hit out on X Testion. And they want to know, do I think it's for real or do it's just a conspiracy therapy or whatever situation. So I did a little vast research on this situation. Now, I was kind of already up with that because I liked that boy X and with his music style situation. I think he had an untimely device. But, uh... I'm gonna let y'all check this out right quick and I'm gonna give you my conclusion on the street just as what I think really go on with this situation or what happened. You didn't, like, you acknowledge, again, it goes back to your self-awareness. You acknowledge that if you did not go at Drake, this thing, everything that you have done, how big you are in the game, it probably wouldn't be that. I don't, a lot of people... That nigga tried to sacrifice me. That nigga tried to sacrifice... I hate, I hate speaking on it. And I, and... I want to say this right now. I want to say this on this video. I apo I apologize to Drake for for coming for his mom. I saw you as a business opportunity, as you saw me as a business opportunity. X X Tentacion and Drake had a little bit of a dispute when he was alive about a song that X X X said he copied. So let's get into exactly what happened, because a lot of people don't know the full story. I'm explaining it for you on this video. One of X's first big songs was Look At Me. Just the audio track alone has almost got 500 million hits on YouTube today and was picking up views when it first dropped very quickly. Just as the song was picking up, it would seem it wouldn't be long before X goes to jail. While locked up, X claims that Drake reached out and was showing a bit of love, but then not long after, he released a track with UK rapper Giggs, and it sounded very similar to his song Look At Me. Their song was called KMT, there's a lot of comparisons on YouTube. Now, when X was inside, a lot of people was telling him that Drake stole his song, and when he come out, he was angry with Drake. He was interviewed on a radio station and explained the situation of people telling him inside, and after this, he started going at Drake. He dissed his mum and called him a bunch of things and said he even wanted to fight Drake over stealing that song. So you in jail, he's supposed to contact your manager yeah. and then what he, happened? He, I mean, he, he dropped a fucking video of previewing that shit in Amsterdam with some, with some, with some nigga from, from the UK. So he plays this shit. I hear, da, 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 da. I'm like, what the fuck? As soon as it started, like I knew, I knew he was getting that. And the funny thing is, we didn't discover it. The fan, like you said, the fans, because the, they're, they're so cold. Like it's like, I got a piece of the internet. You feel me? So they were saying that Drake was biting your style. <sighs> That's what the fans were saying. Yeah. Uh, flow, hell yeah, bro. You could you could take his verse. Like they did a mashup. They put his verse on my song, and they the cadence is literally just at the same tempo. You, it, it's not off beat at all. Literally a lot of the internet was agreeing with X that Drake had stole his song. Now some people would say he was inspired and other people said he just absolutely bit the song. But all the comparisons on YouTube I can see going through the comments now everyone was saying that Drake had stole his song. And to be fair they did sound very similar in my opinion listening back to them now. If you listen to my song and then you listen to the bro song like you, you could 
we we all Let's not see. dummy. Yeah, go. Isn't the mashup on your Instagram page? No, it's is, not that's not the, okay. Where is it? Where where can we find it? Um, you can just look up XXX Tentacion Drake. Tentacion Drake. Just, or just look up Drake mashup <laughs> or something. So now, where do you guys stand? Like, what's good now? I, I still think Drake a fuck nigga. As oh, a, as a, as a, no, I'm keeping the blood raw. I, I still think Drake a fuck nigga. Like, I think he he's a, he's not a man. I think he's a, a bitch. That's a bitch move. See, this is where X was just different to a lot of people. I think so many people overly respect and are so happy to even be associated with Drake that if Drake made a song similar, they wouldn't have the guts to say anything because it's Drake and he's the biggest rapper in the world. So they'll just be overwhelmed that he even done anything similar to them. But XXX Tentacion had this aura about him where he would take on anything. He was literally fearless and had a cult fan base that would back him up all the way. So he felt like he could take on anything or anyone in the industry and he fans would back him all the way especially when i was in jail facing facing life bro you know what i'm saying if drake would have came to my, my barn here you know what i'm saying that would have made my fucking day if he if he would have showed that he he's a hospitable person and that he's really in this shit for the culture rather than being a fuck nigga taking my shit running off with it and then putting it on his album then he would have got my kudos he would have got my respect i would have, I would have let him hop on the remix take 100 percent royalty now Drake did actually respond directly to the XXX situation and a lot of people said he was playing dumb in this interview he seemed quite genuine and talked about the whole situation and said he understands where people are coming from about the song but only on the first two lines or so comment below what you think of this interview on him talking about it the day you know I dropped the song with gigs mm. and I'm seeing all this shit on my on my IG mm. under like some random picture of people being like ah oh, you took this kid's flow or whatever, right? So I'm just like, yo, yeah. what's happening to me right now, you yeah. know? So I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm trying to read, like, figure out mm. who they're talking about. I find out who they're talking about. I Is this go, the extension guy? I, yeah, I, I don't even think that's how you say his name. I, I, but, but yeah, that's I, I, I tried to find They call him X, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I go and I find what song they're talking about, mm. you know? And I, and, you know, and I, and I listen to it. I'm like, okay, I, I see where mm. people could draw like this mm. comparison off of like mm. the first two lines, whether it be the cadence or the rhyme pattern, mm. or whatever, you know. And I, I just like, I'm just like, yo, it, it's crazy that people think that after all this time, after all I've been through, that I'm the type of person to go pre some 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 song that's on SoundCloud. It doesn't have like two plays. It mm. has plays, you know, he has his cult following and go and think that I'm gonna like take that and make mm. it my own. Like I'm not stupid. I'm not mm. a I'm not like a sh person like that, you know? The last time X spoke about Drake on an interview with DJ Academics, he apologized for the stuff he said about his mom and threatening him, but then said this after on the situation. I when you did go against Drake, though. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. You said, yeah, you said, um, if I didn't do that. Yeah, no. No, no, no. I, well, I was really trying to get to the courage of doing it because I don't think, I don't think anybody else would. Would we'll do it. We, we see a lot of young artists. Every young yeah. artist he's, he's fuck with. Yeah. N no one is gonna, and, and by the way, there's been other people who have accused them of jacking their song or their flow and they And they went right behind them and kissed his ass and. Like X and DJ Academics is saying, other people have accused Drake, but I think X is the most reasonable. When you're the biggest artist in the world, you're going to get accused of a lot of different things and people are going to target you. And I think a lot of it was fake in the past where people were saying he's jacked certain things. People are saying that he jacked the UK style as well. And I do think he helps a lot in certain cultures, but people say he's jacking it when he's kind of inspired and it helps at certain times too. It's mixed opinions from a lot of people. Shook his hand and smiled in his face. Nah, bro. Why didn't I'm, you? Why, why, why didn't bro, you? I'm solid, bro. I'm no, solid. Keep bro. it on it. Was it because you were in jail? Because had, had you not been in jail, would you have done? If it? I if I was not in if I was outside of jail and bro took my shit and previewed my shit in Amsterdam like he did, I would have, bro. What? If I, bro, we probably actually I probably actually would have found a way to find, bro. And it would have been real, 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 like trying to do some shit. Cause then I wouldn't be on probation. It would have been, it would have been more crazy. It would have been more crazy. And yes, I would have did exactly what I did. Because let me tell you something: getting out of jail and not wanting going back, to, not wanting to go back to jail, put a restraint on my mind. You know what I'm saying? It put a restraint on my mind. So it made me not do certain things. X did actually put up a story at one point saying if anyone tries to do anything to him, it was Drake that's going to be doing it. But their beef has sort of faded away by the time of X's passing.
Street Choice Media, man. Right back at you, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the, the episode that I put together, you know what I'm saying? Trying to break the situation down between Drake and X. And if you ask me, I feel like Drake probably did, you know what I'm saying, put the hit out on X. Due to the point, man, you know, that boy was really some competition. Before, if it wasn't for his untimely demise, I feel like he would have probably pushed Drake out the game. Drake, you know what I'm saying, really been biting a lot of the artists in the game, you know what I'm saying. When he stepped out there with Meek Mills, you know what I'm saying, he did the thing to him, you know what I'm saying. So he ain't had to physically bite him, he lyrically bite him. Same situation when it came down to Push T. Push T jumped out there, said a little few things, you know what I'm saying? But Drake kind of like backhand him, going and got him out the way. And I know y'all be like like saying, well, you know, this just, you know what I'm saying, on the music situation. But you got to understand, man, the whole hip-hop thing came from the streets, you know what I'm saying? So when everybody be like, you know, they taking it to the streets, you got to understand they taking it back where it came from. It came from the streets. So with that being said, like even with Drake being over there with Jay Prince, man, you know, it's mob ties over there. You already know how these boys move, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had too much to say about the situation with no takeoff because, you know what I'm saying, still on investigation. They trying to figure out what was going on, but I'm just showing you how these dudes move. And so a lot of people on the sideline were like, man, you know them boys ain't getting down like that. But like Drake told you, you know, I'm a light-skinned nigga, but I still move dog. So, you know, he putting things down to play with that type of situation. But let me tell you all, son, because I always read between the lines of the situation, too. You know, him and that boy, Kendrick Lamar, been having words back and forth inside this music situation. But he don't handle a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? But I don't even think he can handle that boy, you know what I'm saying? Not even with lyrically, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar, not even in the streets, you know? Like, one thing about Kendrick, he got that whole West Coast ride with him, you know what I'm saying? He let you, let it be known, like, if you got out of line, you know, you already know what the situation is. He don't even talk violence, man. He be on more like an uplifting situation. But, you know, you listen to a couple words where he be saying like that. That song when he said he was trying to body Drake, Eminem, and any other other top rappers, you know what I'm saying? Was he talking, you know what I'm saying, lyrically, or was he talking physically? So, you know, a lot of times when you see them boys, you know what I'm saying, they ain't talking violent because they moving violent. So, you know what I'm saying, that's just me from the streets. Though. Like they say, let a sleeping dog sleep. So, you know, I just want to give y'all that viewpoint of that situation, man. And and when y'all look at the situation of Drake, don't you think he's just some laid back pretty boy, you know what I'm saying? Dude really messing delete on that keyboard. So a lot of these dudes getting deleted, you know what I'm saying? If it's not even physically, they getting deleted, you know what I'm saying? In the music business, but yeah, I think he pushed that button on X, man. X was coming for him. Drake had stole a little style or whatever situation. So, you know, he did what he had to do to get rid of that brother. So, you know... Hey, that's my street clues in this situation. And uh, anything else y'all want me to get with or do in an interview or you want a street choice or whatever's going on with the situation or my point of view, y'all just DM me and let me know. You know what I'm saying? I always like and subscribe, man. Let's keep this thing moving, man. I'm sticking with that same thing with that YSL with Thug. So, you know, I'll be back up on that tomorrow. So, y'all brothers, tune in. All right, man. Street choice media. What street choose the media that I cover?